prepare to be amazed because America has a new stealth bomber that is the coolest aircraft ever produced. Flying at an altitude of 50,000 feet, it is undetectable to radar as well as the human eye, and hundreds are in the works. This newly manufactured bomber will be the new face of the United States Air Force bomber fleet for centuries to come. Here's the story of the amazing B-21 Raider. Northrop Grumman unveiled the brand new B-21 bomber in January 2023. Much of this project was known to the press, and we have a pretty good picture of what it is thanks to program specifications, rumors, and expert analysis. But this is the first time the aircraft has been wheeled out of the hangar and into the public eye. So some of this video may be slightly off, including any 3D that we've done ahead of time. After all, we couldn't exactly nail this aircraft without seeing it. So here's what we know so far about its performance and how it compares to its predecessor, the B-2 Spirit. It will be able to fly up anywhere from an altitude of 50,000 feet, the same as the B-2, up to a higher 70,000 feet, putting it out of reach of most other aircraft. However, unlike the B-2, it has a much lower armament. Being half the size and carrying only around 30,000 pounds, it was suggested that this bomber be a UAV and piloted remotely. But because it has a nuclear mission, generals were hesitant to take the button out of human hands. Later in the video when we discuss how this amazing aircraft was built, now, fascinatingly, the real-life version that was revealed was actually painted white, which leads us to believe it might be paint or perhaps a state-of-the-art camouflage material. This stealth bomber also has a fully digital platform, which means that all of the components can be swapped out and upgraded at any time. So there won't be no refurbishments or advancements every decade, just simple updates added now and then. We also didn't see the back of the plane, so the propulsion is practically unknown at this point, though it's strongly implied that it has two engines fed by the two dorsal intakes with four engines on board. Again, everything about this jet is classified. Now, you're probably wondering why on earth is the US military even showing the world this new aircraft if it's supposed to be a classified stealth bomber? Well, it's because of a new treaty signed with Russia. If a new nuclear-capable strategic bomber enters the game, disclosure is required. In fact, Russia could even demand to see the plane at the base under the rules. Let's take a deep breath and summarize the incredible B-21 journey in mid-2009. The United States government realized it had a significant problem with its bomber fleet. They possessed a 50-year-old B-52 for ground pounding, a B-1 Lancer for fast strikes, and a B-2 Spirit for stealth assaults. The problem was that the B-2 Spirit was supposed to be the replacement for both the B-1 and the B-52, but it was considerably too expensive, costing $2 billion each and only one-sixth of the fleet of 132 aircraft were ever completed. The gap meant that by 2037, the US Air Force would have a significant deficiency in capacity and capability as these aircraft were retired. The military thus had two options, resume the extremely expensive B-2 fleet or create a whole new aircraft. The Air Force decided that a manned long-range strike bomber that could perform intelligence gathering surveillance, reconnaissance, and of course send an arsenal of freedom anywhere in the world would be required going forward. But the Air Force would also have strict requirements that this new aircraft be affordable enough to produce insufficient numbers to replace the aging older bomber fleet. The new bomber must also be made of existing technology. Boeing's mismanagement of the Air Force's refueler fleet, as well as its embarrassment in failing to fulfill the deadlines, made the Department of Defense wary of considering them. It's from here that our story goes quiet, and very little was hinted that the Air Force would release several renderings of the B-21 leading up to the eventual reveal that showed it as a small, more flexible B-2 bomber. After all, it makes sense. It's supposed to be cheaper, deliver nuclear weapons, fit into normal hangars, and utilize existing technology. With the B-2 being the last advanced bomber, it just makes sense that Northrop Grumman won the contract to improve on its predecessor. If you like the content, please like and subscribe for more videos.